Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at how to resize images on the fly in an Express.js application. And the first thing we're going to need to do is get Graphics Magic because that's what we're going to be using to resize the images. So if you head over to graphicsmagic.org slash download.html, you can get all the download files. Here's Windows, Linux, and I think for um, Mac you can use Brew to install it. So just Brew install Graphics Magic. But I'm on Windows, so we're going to get the Windows installer. You'll notice that there's two versions for Windows 64-bit and Windows 32-bit. There's Q16 and Q8. Q16 is higher quality but slower, and Q8 is lower quality but obviously faster. And we're going to want the Q16 Windows 64 bit, but I already have that installed. So you can check that by going GM in your command line, and you should get this Graphics Magic message here. So I already have Graphics Magic installed. I do not need to do it again. But you're going to want to go ahead and install it if you do not get this message when you type GM into your command line. Now we're going to want to look at some of the uh, node packages we're going to need for this project. We're going to use Graphics Magic for Node.js. That's a node package. You can get it by typing npm install gm. Pretty simple, but we're going to be using uh, the Express Process Image package. And to install that, we're going to go into our command line in our project here and type npm i or install. You can type the whole thing but I prefer just to type I and then we're going to put a hyphen and then a capital S to save and express process image. Okay, so that's finally done. Uh, you can see that if we go into our package.json we now have express process image as a dependency and just in our app.js file I'm going to require it. So process uh, image equals require express process image and then uh, what you're going to want to do is write by your express.static declaration do an app.use and then uh, whatever you called this variable here and then you're going to pass in the same folder. So I use public for my static files, so I'm going to use public again in the uh, process image declaration. And then if we save this, we should see node restarting. And if we go over to localhost, and then the port is 8080, and uh, I'm using a picture of a sailboat just to test here, so we should get a picture of a sailboat like you would expect. But now what we can do is put in a URL parameter and put res resize and then set a height. And you can see that if we look in the developer tools here, we can see that the image is actually 300 pixels wide, which is exactly what we want. Uh, so the first parameter is the width. You can also do width and height. But if I set them both to 300, it won't change anything. Unless I use another parameter, the uh, exclamation mark, and that will stretch it out to fill the width and height. I can also make it like 100 pixels tall, and then it will force it to be 100 pixels tall, and the width will be reduced. So it won't be 300, it will be less than that. Don't think the only thing this package can do is resize images. With this package, you have access to almost every graphics magic for Node.js is uh, functions. And to call them, as you saw with the resize function, instead of using the function like this and then putting the, uh, the two parentheses, you would put the, uh, the name of the function, like resize, and then equals, and then all your parameters. And... You have, if you read the docs here, you have access to all of these functions. 
it's really important to resize your images so they load faster for users and this plugin makes it a whole lot easier to do that don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this have a good day